Mm -hmm. All right, we'll start with Rashawn Haylock, it's back from Sportsnet. Hey, Lauren. Hello. Uh, um, can you kind of take us inside that tip uh, from NECA to you, kind of what went into that? Um, I just noticed how they were kind of playing us right before, and I went up to her and I just said, tip it over both of us and let me go get it. And it's exactly what happened, and it worked out. Um, you're, you're doing a little bit of everything on, uh, on, on Tuesday night. Um, how how did it feel just to, to, to be able to be in there and, and make an impact um, the way you did, especially seeing some go in the hole for you? I know uh, Sunday was a little tough. Yeah, it felt good, especially after having a not so good game on Sunday. Um, just have to come back stronger each and every game and uh, just play as hard as I can. Uh, what did you learn about the resilience of this team? Um, I really th these last two games. Yeah, I think we just really stick together. We trust each other. Um, that was a big thing during halftime is just sticking together and we have to trust each other. Um, and I think we definitely did that in the second half. Thank you. I'll go to Allie Clifton, the Spectrum Sportsman. games can you hear me we can hear you now okay sorry about that i'm just curious uh lauren when you face a team the same team in back-to-back -back games what the challenges with that but also um the opportunity that you have given you did just see them um 24 36 hours ago yeah it's always hard to beat a team twice um, especially a team like that who puts a lot of shots up gets out in transition gets a lot of offensive rebounds um so playing them two times in a row, um, there's not many adjustments that we can make, but I think the two biggest ones are getting back in transition and boxing them out. Was there something that you felt, I guess, now that you've got these two games under your belt after that opportunity to kind of have the um, training camp, if you will, um, that felt better, I guess, for you? Yeah, I think I'm definitely a lot more comfortable, especially with our offense, um, just having the opportunity to kind of slow down and run through some things during practice. Um, I think I definitely feel it and I feel like um, everyone else can see that I'm a lot more comfortable. Thank you. Thanks, Allie. We'll go to Miriam Swanson with the LA Daily News. Hey, Lauren, um, sort of along those lines, um, like the, the tip with NECA, is that sort of a symbolic of like the developing chemistry and offense? And, and is that something that you like can feel out there in, in the midst of a game? Yeah, I think just being able to read the defense and see how they line up. And then it meant a lot for me that NECA trusted me enough um, to follow through with that. Awesome. And, and I also wanted to ask sort of you guys are playing a game every other day for like two to almost three weeks. What, what are some of the challenges in that as far as like both like recovery and preparation and, and all that? Recovery is going to be the biggest thing for us. Uh, we have to make sure we're taking care of our bodies no matter how many minutes we get. Um, and preparation wise, there's not much we can do on the court because we are playing every other day. Um, but just getting out there walking through some stuff, talking about our defense and our offense. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, Lauren. Thank you. All right, we'll have me a copy shortly. All right, questions for Nia. We'll start with Allie Clifton, Spectrum Sportsnet. Mia, what has been the process uh, for you just over these last couple of games in terms of the way in which you've been able to be so impactful? Um, I guess just whatever role I'm in, just focusing on like still being aggressive and whatever, if I'm the three or the four, and then making sure that I'm being a presence on defense and for rebounding as well. Where does that come from for you, Nia, um, to your point of no matter what the role is, you'll find ways 
uh, to kind of impose your will? Is that something you've always had? Is it something you pride yourself on? Or is it something you've just learned um, with the opportunity amongst this team? Um, I think it's learned just because um, just having the versatility, I've been able to, you know, tap into different parts of that. So just, um, you know, seeing what is needed and just doing my best in whatever role that is. Thank you. Miriam Swanson with the LA Daily News. Hey, Nia. Hope you're well. Um, hey, so um, with us in, in the media, Derek Fisher often brings up Kobe and kind of talks about Kobe as far as, you know, like motivational ideas and whatnot. Does he talk about Kobe with you guys a lot in the, in the locker room as a team? Um, I wouldn't say a lot, but he has like come up some. Yeah. Uh, any, any messages that, that have resounded with you? It's a while ago. <laughs> no worries. No. I can't remember. no worries. Okay. One more question for you. Um, you, you guys are playing like every other day for like almost three weeks. Like how hard is that? Like what are the greatest challenges in that? And, and, and how do you approach it? Um, I mean, it's difficult because we just had a break for a while and now we're just getting back to the swing of things. But for me, just literally one game at a time, stream situations, one situation and one possession at a time and just like keep moving. And recovery wise, I know you got, I mean, you're out there banging pretty hard um, every game. Um, is, is that hard to kind of keeping your body right? Um, no, I mean, this is like my fifth year now. So I kind of found my rhythm. So I'm just very, um, focus on, okay, hydration, eating right, sleeping, stretching, whatever it is. Um, and we have a great staff here, so they help us a lot with that. Thank you. Uh, Rashawn Haylock, Spectrum Sportsnet. Hey, Nia, um, coach talked about how this team kind of just ran you into the ground in that first half. You were asked to do so many things and um, you know, play so many minutes, play so many different positions, uh, handle so many different roles. How different have these two games been for you compared to the first half of the season? And can you kind of take us into things you were battling in the first half just from a fatigue standpoint? Yeah, so um, not having NECA, that kind of put me more uh, as a four and a five. And then also in the starting role. And then with that, just playing a lot more minutes than I've ever had to play with so many games playing like the tougher teams from the West Conference right um, in the beginning of the season. So that was a lot. Fatigue played a huge role in that. Um, and you can kind of see that as the season went on. But now that neck is back, I've kind of been pushed to the three at some points now. So I'm playing like the three and the four. So now I'm focusing on not only defending like the post, but also defending the guard and that's like a completely different skill set there and then also having to know the positions from two through five for our plays now and so those are just some of the things I had to focus on but again like we have like great communication like my teammates helped me a lot with that and I feel like our defense is really good and we talk so much that it doesn't really matter if I have to guard a three or a guard or a four or five we talk so well so it kind of it helps a lot with that. How do you think this could benefit you individually, offensively? That's a good question. Um, we're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you shot it well. You've been shooting it well. Um, great game the other night. Thanks a lot, Nia. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Nia. Thanks.